up YouTube coming to you with another video today's video is um, on the envelope method so when I first got into budgeting about two and a half years ago um, it was kind of weird it was like I was making I was making decent money or what I considered decent I was making well above the minimum wage but it was like at the end of every month I still didn't have any money left over and then I heard about a guy named Dave Ramsey and a couple of other people. And I started listening to them and watching a few YouTube videos of what other people have done. And then I started this thing called the envelope method. Now, I haven't, I didn't invent it. It's been around for ages. But um, I just felt like it would work. And it was simple and straight to the point. And if it was like training your body and your mind to be able to save money so that's what i start doing so the way the envelope method works or the way i use it is i tally up or i round about how much money i would get each month for you people that's salary you know what you'll get each month for you people that's not salary and if you make within a certain amount of money every week or bi-weekly you know how much money you'll get so you pretty much just take how much money you think you would get uh every month and if you get paid bi-weekly or weekly that's how you do your envelope system so an example would be oh if y'all could see that okay let's see this is an example that i made up so if you got paid bi-weekly at a rate of two thousand dollars bi-weekly and you every month you ended up making four thousand dollars what you would do is you would or the way i do it i always pay myself first so i made a savings of fifteen hundred and then i just went down from there savings rent food gas repairs car repairs or any type of little repairs you got to do because repairs don't happen every week but when they do happen you know you need the money, so 200 And then uh, utilities, cell phone, and stocks, and miscellaneous. Keep in mind that all of these add up to one month of gross pay or one month of pay. I don't do uh, food, two, food 400 every two weeks or food 400 or gas 200 every two weeks. I do it all per month. So the way I do it is... Um, you get paid, let's say, for example, on this one, you get paid every two weeks, and you get $2,000 every two weeks. So what you would do is you would take that $2,000, and you would either, depending on how your bills are set up, most people are, the way I have bills set up is it's every first of the month, so or at the end of every month or the first of the month, so the 30th or the first is still pretty much the end of the first of the month. And you just take the money out of your bank account. That's the the key point. Don't leave the money in your bank account, your checking account, your debit. Literally go to the bank and physically get the money out. Bring it back to the house. And then you probably need to get a little box. Um, in my case, I have this box inside of a bigger box that's like super locked up. But this is like a small box. So you get this box out. And instead of using envelopes, I was using plastic bags. I was too cheap to go buy envelopes, but whatever. It all does the same. And you see car repair. So what you'll do is you'll just get the money out, car repair. You'll put the 200 in or however much money it is. And that would be your car repair for the month. You don't have to worry about it. It's out the way rent the same thing you would just or your you, your savings you would just get out the money and you would just put it in this is plain and simple like that and i'm and i come to find out that doing those things really help build my savings mentality for becoming the advanced saver I am now most people that know me personally know that I'm real good with money 
in terms of saving it, making it work for myself. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty easy. Um, if you're having trouble with saving money or you're living check to check or you, I don't know, um, have like five or six hundred dollars in your savings, um, try this method. Try this method for a year and watch how your life changes. And I know most people say, oh, well, I'm on a budget. The way I'm budgeting works. If you get your check and you pay your bills and that's it, you're not on a budget. That's not a budget. That's you getting your money and paying your bills. That's what that is. When you have money and you make your money work for you and you tell your money where to go, where specifically to go, that's a budget. If you can list everything that you probably would incur in a month besides like things you that's out of your control, like getting into a wreck or doctor visits or something like that, but anything that you can control, um, you know you'll get an electric bill, you know you'll get a water bill, you know you'll get a cable bill, a cell phone bill, rent, uh, gas, um, a cell phone bill, I think I said that, but things like that. And when you have those things written down, and you have how much money you're trying to save per month or the money you have left over to save per month, it becomes easier to budget with the envelope system. And the best thing would I would have to say to do is to actually not only create a budget, but to create a goal, something in mind that you're trying to save and then reach for that goal by implementing it into your budgeting system. So if you wanted to save two thousand dollars, um, or $2,200 within a year, you know you would need to save $200 a month. So you will find a way to implement that into your budget. And then when you get paid, you will set that money to the side. And the key thing is to build discipline and to not go in and touch the money, which is hard for a lot of people because a lot of people have uh, this habit of just getting money and spending money just because they'll make it back, which is fine. But, I mean, You'll always be broke doing those things. So, yeah, I'm not going to get into much on this video. I just wanted to come to you with the budgeting system that I started off with, which was the envelope method. Um, all of my envelopes are blank right now or they don't have anything in them. I just got this money out just to show um, for this for this video because uh Last year, I decided to advance the way that I do budgeting, so I no longer use the envelope system. I use another system, which has, it's like leaps and bounds, but you really have to be disciplined before you can get to that system, which I'm going to talk about in the next video. But, uh, I mean, it saved me thousands of dollars. I mean, just that just doing that system alone last year i was able to bank like twenty five thousand. so um yeah the next video i will come to you with will be that it's kind of the same but it's a little different it, it plays a big role with your credit and interest and other things of that nature so yeah i'll be coming to you with that video next so it's carlos cblifehacks.com CB Life Hacks. Uh, I'll talk to you later in the next one. Uh, subscribe. Peace.